capacities is a block based editor and in this video I will show you what that means and what you can do with the blocks in capacities. First thing to deal with is I guess the question of what a block actually is. If I move down the page you can see that within each of these sort of sections of text I'm getting this grey plus and the grey six dots come up. That basically means that, that you're looking at block. If you want to insert a block below where you are, click the plus. And if you'd like to insert one above where you are, shift click the plus. You can also click on the six dots to open a menu. And this menu is going to format the entire block. And you know that because it has highlighted the whole block. If you make your page wider by clicking this button, and then you, you click the six dots again, you can see that the length has just expanded it's looking at the whole block and then what you can do is apply formatting to that block so we have the option for different heading levels which allows you to like uh, break up your notes um, you also can add um, bullet points as i've done here you can add icons or emojis and you can actually um, make quotes look nice as well so all of these options are available for you to sort of play with um, in this setting and the way that I got this background to be coloured in is by clicking edit style and you can see you've got a very extensive style menu here that literally covers everything. Now you can see here that I have highlighted um, this verb but that's obviously not the whole block and the way that you do that is as you can see just by highlighting the text within it. Now you'll have seen this menu before from the adding and linking new content videos but you've also got the option to put your text in bold, italics, all of those things and to indent or unindent the block. If you need uh, links within the text like to an external place, uh, code blocks or maths blocks, you can also access them uh, through this window as well. And if you just want to highlight something, click on this mini colour palette and you will have your options here either to highlight or just to change the text colour. You can also kind of create like sub pages. It's not technically how it works in capacities, but if that's how you like to work, you can just highlight the text, click new, again as discussed in a previous video and add a new page or whatever and that is now directly related to time travel and you can sort of toggle between them quite quickly. You can also see that I have got columns and the way that you do that is simply by hovering over the six dots and then clicking and dragging it around. You just want to be looking for this blue line because it tells you where it's going to put whatever you're dragging around. So I've embedded an image in here and I'm just moving it around. You don't just have to have two columns, you can also have um, more and you can again play around with this to suit you. I've also linked to content, again link to anything with the at or the square brackets and I've embedded this as a small card and again this is a block just like anything else now meaning I can to move this around if I would like to make the page look like this for whatever reason. So that's basically it with blocks. You are literally just building the page that you want to have and have it in the way that you'd like it to look. The final thing that I will mention is that if you press um, forward slash or plus, we know this function from the creating new object video, but if you scroll past that, you can actually see um, options for formatting as well. So we've even got a, a line, we can add code block, and you can do all of this literally just by typing slash or plus and then typing for what you want. So sometimes I will type H2 and it will give me a heading which I can then write and press enter and I can write my text below. So that is a whistle stop tour of the block based editor. Let us know if you have any questions.